Now, a problem that we have in 2024 with MacBooks, and to be honest, any Macs out there, but primarily focusing on MacBooks today, is that you cannot upgrade them once you buy them in the form that they are made, unless you are an absolute genius whiz with a soldering iron and changing bits and pieces. The only upgrades you can do if you consider them an upgrade is adding a hub to give you a few more ports, or maybe even an external hard drive to give you extra storage if you wanted to do that. What's even crazy is, iFixit gave the M2 MacBook Air a 3 out of 10 for repairability score on both the 13 and the 15 inch model. But there is an alternative out there if you're looking to upgrade your laptop in any way and this has a 10 out of 10 on iFixit score on repairability and it is this. This here is the Framework 13 inch laptop. It may look like a normal laptop here but it can do so much more. This laptop is a repair your own or build your own laptop. And let me show you what I mean by getting, you know, it underneath a different camera and let me show you the insides of it. So this laptop's fantastic. The actual keyboard and touchpad is not actually attached when you first get it. You actually get it all like this that like you're seeing right here. And it's really, really good that you can see all the specs and everything. This is the main motherboard just here. And then this can actually be completely changed out. It's absolutely incredible. You can actually upgrade the whole motherboard piece, but you can also upgrade the other bits and pieces. But let's talk about what we've actually got here with this actual framework laptop. So the specs are actually sitting here. So we actually got an AMD Ryzen. It's a 7840U inside of this, and this is also has an AMD 780M inside of it too, which is pretty impressive. We actually got the CPU, APU, whatever you want to call it, all inside of here with those sort of heat sink sort of bits and pieces going over to the fan, which is just over here, as you can see. So that's all just working nicely fine, keeps it nice and cool, and everything was great there. And then also we've got like a battery attachment and things like this here. And then what we've actually got here is the actual main storage, NVMe storage here, well, obviously can be upgraded. And then also there is a second port where you can actually upgrade that too. What's really, really awesome to actually have that. We've also got the actual DDR5 RAM here too. What's really, really awesome. So you can upgrade it on this side. And then also there's another side here. So you actually got two bars where you can do your upgrades of your RAM if you want to put faster RAM inside of this machine. What's absolutely incredible. So it's fully upgradable on that sense. We also do have like a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi we can also update that as well with this port what's really awesome and we also got a large battery what we can also upgrade or change anytime if the battery sort of runs out of juice or you know we well use it out we can actually change it out and you can scan any of these QR codes we've also got the speakers too what's really really awesome you can change these out too if you want to get new speakers put in again scanning those QR codes what's pretty awesome and then once you've done all your upgrades and everything, you can just reattach the actual keyboard here. This is the actual keyboard here and the touchpad here. And again, it tells you everything what's actually inside of this. All got QR codes, so things that could be changed and upgraded or repaired, whatever you want to do. We've actually got the ribbon port here. You can see here, nice long ribbon. I'm actually just going to connect that up. I'll show you in a second how this is looking. Let me just get that connected. I think that's nice and fixed in place there. Um, so yeah, that is pretty cool there. I'm glad that's all in place so let's just place that down here it just clicks into place what is really really awesome and then all we have to do funny enough is just basically close the lid down here and all we have to do is just flip over the actual framework laptop and we have all the screws here and everything like that and all we have to do is just tighten up the screws and everything it does actually come with a framework um, screwdriver here when attached so I'm just gonna tighten up these screws here let me just get this done quickly for you guys show you how easy it is you just got to tighten up five screws and that's all it takes next of all let's talk about my favorite feature of these framework laptops and obviously you might have noticed there's these big four gaps here two on each side you're probably wondering what all of these are about well this is where i absolutely love these you can actually put different kind of ports in you heard me right you can choose what ports you can put inside of your framework laptop so here i have i've got four different sort of samples in here and we're going to check these out here for example this is the first one this is a usb-c so the actual end there's usb-c and then we can just connect that into usb-c at the other end all of my usb-c but the cool thing is we can just sort of slide them in here to any port that we want it into we can have it in any order and it's pretty awesome to 
have this. And here's my other USB-C here, for example, and I'm gonna slot that right next to my first USB-C, what I've slotted. Dead easy to slot in, as you can see. And then we've also got two others here. We've actually got HDMI and we've also got a USB-3. So let's just get open this HDMI. Let's open up this one then and get this one out. And like obviously you can buy more different ports from framework you don't have to have a set amount you can choose exactly what ports you want if you want to have four usb c's you can do that if you want hdmi you can do that too so that's what i've just plugged in here hdmi i think i didn't tear that correctly let's try and get this usb off now oh i don't like it when cardboard does this but anyway never mind there we go we got it open and then what we've got here is usb 3.2 port here just a normal size usb and then obviously at the other end it's usb c and then again we can just slot it in and it clicks into place and there we have it guys there's my two usb c's on one side and then on the other side there we have a hdmi and a usb 3.2 port and as you can imagine it's dead easy just to change them around so same again we can just press the button here and then we can just basically flick out a port it's dead easy to do so and i can just change it around in any way that i want to do so so it's really really awesome you can custom it exactly how it is and like I said on the framework website you can buy your own but flipping over the actual framework laptop here and having a look here it's got the framework logo what I absolutely love here what's pretty awesome but opening it up here we've got a full-size keyboard here for the 13 inch really easy keyboard to use and again you can change this as well if it does get faulty or anything like that you can repair it which is really really awesome and nicely done and the same with the actual touchpad too you can upgrade that we've also got a fingerprint sensor too again can be changeable and everything so that is really awesome and after that, you might think, well, that's really, really good, Matt. That's a good comparison here to the 13-inch MacBook Air that we have here. But what about, say, the 15-inch MacBook Air? Well, the great news is Framework are bringing out a 16-inch model. And in fact, I got the lucky hands to actually see it at CES earlier this year. Take a look here. Yeah, so we do have our AMD 13-inch right here. Yep. Um, it has all the parts we love. Every that's part the is one I've got, I think. Yep. First, yep. That's one of the final Six inches. The Ooh. Have 16. Um, so it carries over a lot of those modular systems. It has the same expansion card system where you can choose your ports. Yeah. Um, it also has an upgradable CPU where you can upgrade the whole mainboard. Uh, but we've also added two new systems that are super exciting. Um, the first system is the input module system. So this allows you to change um, the input deck for whatever you prefer. Um, okay. It's hot swappable, so you can just slide everything oh, right wow. off. I mean, I knew all about it, but then to see it happen, you are it's just... a numpad user, let's say. Yep. Read about it all you want. I'm a numpad person. You are. Numpad. Yep. <laughs> you can even have it the wrong way around. Um, you can have it the wrong way around. Yeah, you can. You can wow. have it the left. I've never seen a numpad that side of my life. You can have it first, left, so uh, for all those lefties out there. Yeah, I was going to say, that's awesome for all those lefties, yeah. So you can see just like that, you can spot it. It's actually, it's, it's hurting my eyes because it doesn't look right. <laughs> um, yeah, that allows you to just customize it, whatever, however you'd like. But something else we've added is the expansion bay module system. Yeah. huge. Um, we have taken something that has been a holy grail for laptop users, upgradable modular graphics, um, and we've allowed you to swap them and upgrade them. Um, so this is our expansion bay yeah. module, the graphics one, um, and oh, it's easily you can take off the input modules, um, so unscrew the and swap them. So when you say graphics module, so this is literally an actual dedicated graphics card now? I thought I heard you right there. I said that is wow. Um, this is the AMD Radeon 7700S. Oh um, wow! And we made it so it's upgradable. So as we continue to develop new graphics modules, you can just swap in. That is amazing. You know what I want now? I want this. <laughs> and you can see um, it should, um, we have this space right in the back where it can slot in. Yeah. Um, and if you choose to have a system that's a little bit lighter, more portable, let's say graphics aren't as important. So yeah, yeah. Um, you can choose the expansion bay shell um, where there's a little bit more empty space and we're developing uh, various modules you can drop in here like a dual SSD. I was just about to say you can put like an NVMe in there. It looks yeah, like about exactly. the right size for an NVMe yeah, for that. totally. And if you put in uh, the dual SSD, you can actually have two SSDs here and then there's actually a 2280 Of course, on the main board, yeah. Um, wow. 
That is absolutely amazing. You guys are really good. And then you've obviously, I've just, sorry, on the back there, you've got space for, obviously, because it's a bigger model, you've got more space for more modules. Yeah, yeah, so there's six. Because uh, it's, it's four on the 13, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and we've taken the, um, the audio uh, input and we've made it into an expansion card. So if you want it and you need it, you can have it, but if you don't, you can use that for something. That is awesome. But yeah, that is really, really good. I absolutely love the framework idea of it. That is obviously, you don't have to throw away your laptop, disperse of it. You can just constantly keep on upgrading all the time. And yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. The great thing also is iFixit have already given the 16 inch model as the same 10 out of 10 repairability as the 13 inch model. But let's do a bit more of a comparison between both of these models in what you're getting. Now, the MacBook Air may feel more premium, and it also may have a more of a premium screen, and it also may have a better resolution too, but the framework gives you a different approach of flexibility what the MacBook cannot. Okay, I get it. MacBook like to put like the best speakers inside of their MacBooks. You know, they also like to put some of the fastest ports inside of them too. And then also at the same time, like I said, the screen is really good. It feels really light, really, really strong. But like I say, if you're a person who's wanting a bit more out of your laptop for about the same sort of price as a MacBook Air, the framework is definitely worth looking at. So one thing the MacBook's not the best at, and that is playing games, even if you use something like Crossover, for example. But I've run some benchmarks here on the AMD 7840U, what's inside of this, and also it's got a 780M GPU. And as you can see right here, playing games is no problems on the benchmark systems here. And this is all playing at 1080p. In fact, have a look at this list right here of average frameworks from that benchmark scoring that I've done here. It's pretty good for what the type of laptop this is. Obviously, it's not going to be a hardcore gaming laptop, but for what it is, and especially that it's so light and nimble too, it's really, really good for what you're getting. Even the benchmarks of that AMD chipset compared to the M2 chipset are really, really close. In fact, the AMD is slightly ahead, but as you can see here in this chart, it actually is behind the M3 series but not by that much. And the other thing not to forget here is that AMD will bring out the 8000 series coming out later on this year. And that'll probably overtake the M3. But there again, the M4 will come along. And then AMD will come out with, say, the 9000 series. And you get the idea. You're getting the straight picture here. They're about the same. Everybody works on each other's competition to make it faster or better. And that's what always happens here. And AMD, as you can see, is keeping up and is not miles behind, say, an Apple system right here. For me, with both of these machines, I I think they're both incredible and they both got their different kind of strengths. Something that Apple have taken away over the last sort of 10 to 15 years is the ability to upgrade any of the parts inside. Unless, like I said at the beginning of this video, really good with the soldering iron. And I think it's great that framework give that ability that you've got the full upgrades you can do. You can change anything. You can change the motherboard and you don't have to throw away the parts or anything like that. You don't have to sell it as an older machine. You can keep on changing changing just the bits that you want to change in this framework. A bit like a custom PC, you can just upgrade the parts that you want to upgrade at any time and that saves a lot of money. And I think this is a great option out there for people who want to get themselves, say, a laptop where they don't need to have the best screen, the best speakers out there, but they still have a really good screen and still really good speakers, but yet have that flexibility to make it into anything they want. And I think this is the approach that framework have taken here and also at the same time as well recycling parts and all of that too it's a really really good initiative and a really good idea and especially as i've shown already it just looks like a normal laptop you wouldn't think this is a diy laptop at all and i think that is absolutely incredible of the work that framework have done here and also for that 16 inch model which is just about to come out too and with that guys it's time to wrap up this video but if you have enjoyed watching it and you want to learn more about framework do check out the link that's in the description for this video but on the meantime though guys if you have enjoyed it like i said do like it and also if you want to hear the latest technology news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye